are too many waterfalls here. The crowded streams hurry too rapidly down to the sea, and the pressure of so many clouds on the mountaintops makes them spill over the sides in soft, slow motion, turning to waterfalls under our very eyes. Think of the long trip home. Should we have stayed at home and thought of here? Where should we be today? Is it right to be watching strangers in a play in the strangest of theaters? What childishness is it that while there's a breath of life in our bodies, we are determined to rush to see the sun the other way around? Oh, must we dream our dreams and have them too? And have we room for one more folded sunset, still quite warm? But surely it would have been a pity not to have seen the trees along this road, really exaggerated in their beauty. Not to have seen them gesturing like noble pantomimists robed in pink. And never to have had to listen to rain, so much like politicians' speeches. Two hours of unrelenting oratory and then a sudden golden silence in which the traveler takes a notebook, writes, is it lack of imagination that makes us come to imagine places, not just stay at home? Or could Pascal have been not entirely right about just sitting quietly in one's room? Continent, city, country, society, the choice is never wide and never free. And here or there, no. Should we have stayed at home, wherever that may be?